Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I'm here in uh, Barath uh, Barathrits... Barath Barathrums. Wow, wow, was, why was that difficult? Jeez. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just kind of, like, surveying. I, I've been having a look at all of the things we can add to our golem. Um, something I would like to do, and I'm going to start the episode with this is we're gonna go to get out of here slugs now you've been like hanging out on that staircase for far too long i actually went to kill the uh the ooze as well but i forgot i keep forgetting we're on good terms with oozes we're gonna go to the um bethesda susa we're not lost are we it's just it, it's taken a moment it's ta it, has, it needs a moment to think about it roasted boar nearby do you want to investigate no uh, as a rule, I will never want to investigate, uh, goat. Goat folk village. Um, we're gonna be going down... Bethesda Susa. I still haven't found night goggles. That's kind of insane to me. Uh, we have a sparking beetle. I don't know if I... If I check this one? Five still... Okay, that's the still beard glands. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be doing that one, I think. Enhanced prowess is good though. Um, I want to go to and, and talk to the alchemist and basically grab every. Cannot find a path to the alchemist. Um, oh right, this this uh, <laughs> this uh, um, I forget what it was called. Staircase, whatever. Not the staircase, but the thing I used to make the staircase. Uh, drilled into a, like an extra room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, we will go ahead and break our way out of this because I'm. I don't think I'll be coming back here because after I do this, um, the, the alchemist does not renew their goods at all. So uh, I will only have to do this once. Well, hello, humor. Anytime I make a joke, basically. Um, let's put everything back as it was, and then let's go, let's go visit the Beetle, because I don't remember what this Beetle wants. Sure, I'll walk in some acid for a moment. Three skim soft utility high tier implants. Heightened skill. Um, yeah, uh, like maybe I could achieve that one, but it just seems so unnecessarily difficult. All right, Alchemist, um, what I would like from you, is, what we're buying from the Alchemist is we're buying every single thing he's got. Everything. Well, not the files, but all of that stuff. And uh, it's not even that expensive, but this is a really easy and effective way of um, why are fidget cells more valuable than chem cells? That's a weird one. This is a really effective way of getting every fluid, and then I'm just going to shove them all into the chest uh, in the um, Barathrum study. But before we do, I want to have a quick look at what they provide. I think it's the at no, the Atmos. Oh, by the way, um, this is really fun. The decarbonizer's unit control part does actually offer decarbonizer and i looked this up decarbonizer is a mutation that you can't really gain access to normally um but it is a mutation that the decarbonizer has um so apparently the way it attacks uh is not via a weapon but via, via this uh, decarbonizer um attack and i was very right to avoid getting hit by it i don't think it would have killed me but it had the potential to kill me. It had a, like, there was a not 0% chance it would have killed me instantly. So, I'm glad I, uh, avoided that. But, um, yeah, we, we have the, we have the option of putting basically a really crazy, like, beam attack on our golem, which is really cool. Astral is tempting, but I'm pretty sure if I make the golem astral, I won't be able to interact with it unless I'm astral. I think that's how it works. Same with wings. I won't be able to like board the golem unless I'm underground or I also uh, have wings. So, eh, eh. why? Okay, how come? 
Did I not make the trade? Did I do that annoying thing I do sometimes where I... No, I thought I did. No, I have, I have like every dram. How come, how come the catalyst is only these things? Oh, you need three drams. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. I wonder if they did that specifically so you couldn't do this. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Only because um, if I actually want to like... <sighs> complete this. I, 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 I really do like... Uh, you'll have to forgive me. It's a, it's a little... That's... The only thing that bothers me about that is that now if like if I want to see this through I would need to have put them all in the separate containers um, That have more, you know liquid more or different liquid by the way wasn't the catalyst Didn't it have to be a Primordial ooze. I wonder if they changed it um, Didn't one of these have to be primordial ooze Hold on. Hamza? Hamza is just a little something of anything. Ascension power source. I guess they changed it. I thought that uh, it had to be like 20 drams of primordial ooze. And, um, and then you had to go back to the rainbow wood. But apparently that's not true. So I'm going to do a little pause here just real quick. And um, do a bunch of liquid uh, management. I, the, option, the other option is I could like... Just look at the wiki and see which liquids I actually want to double down on. Um, that would save us all some time. But either way, I'm going to have to do a pause. So give me a second. All right. I've got the catalyst on my, um, on my other monitor. Uh, the one that seems... I mean, there's a couple that seem really appealing to me. Sun Slag is a very obvious one because it gives you extra quickness. Um, that makes a lot of sense. The one that is, uh, is actually very appealing to me is Warm Static, which gives you two random uh, catalysts. So, like, you get an extra catalyst effect, but you get two of them. Um, I really like the idea of that. Uh, and, like, just letting, you know, uh, taking the choice out of my hands, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw all of this into a chest. It'll be... It'll be useful, I guess, but not as useful as I was hoping for. Um, what is sap? What does that do? Burgeoning at level 5. Melee attacks cause enemies to get stuck. That's fun. Um, you know, there's something to be said. Like, I could, you know, obviously go and find all these liquids and then um, have a look at them here. But if I'm going to be doing that anyway, I, I would rather, I guess, like just look at what they all do and then make up my mind from there like there's some good ones like i you know something like brain brine is interesting because it gives you extra mutation points um and i mean you could really surmise what a lot of these do if you have you know much of any knowledge about how those liquids work in the first place um ruins nearby huh but like yeah, I'm not gonna feel too bad about looking that one up. You you can you can shame me if you want in the comments. Um eh, this is not really anything I care to engage with. Uh so I wouldn't mind going back to um some Baroque ruins. We got some we got some goat folk here. I think that my points to de point defense drone shot the, the the seed sprout or whatever the seed bomb out of the goat folks hand which was pretty fun hostels nearby i don't see any um let's just go ahead and recoil to eat freehold but yeah i mean i'm just gonna go to some more baroque ruins fight some more stuff um don't know what else to tell you there. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to go to Baroque Ruins. We're going to go back to see if I can get to the, uh, do the Moonstair quest. Java. Because I got, I got kind of, um, tripped up there a little bit by a tortoise. 
So I would like to actually complete this quest. Well, I say complete it. I didn't even start. Didn't even start the quest and I already, I got teleported out of the moon stair, which is such a problem. I mean, that's why they're there, there, uh, honestly. I think that um, the purpose of those tortoises are honestly to, um, to make it more difficult for you. Oh, we had a lurking stalker there. Oh, this is our legendary chrome pyramid lair. I love the idea of a, of a, like, oh, tortoise is right in front of us. I love the idea of a, um, a town that moves around randomly. You, I can kind of make out the, the path that I took. I think it's better to kind of like go along the top of the screen because then you have options. Um, are we close? Oh yeah, I, I remember I... Current location is east. So let's just go down. I'm not going to cheese it this time. I'll actually go there myself. Oh, we had a tortoise. Are we being blocked by something? Being blocked. Being blocked. There we go. I might have to fight a couple tortoises. Ooh. Freaking tortoises. They're all around here. I'd like to just go upstairs and then I don't have to worry about them. I don't know what this stuff is made of. Crystalline trunk. Let's just go upstairs. Sense of uh, psychic presence. Oh yeah? Where are they? Okay, I see them. They're uh, a banana grover... Uh, a banana grove rancher. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and sunder their mind. I wouldn't mind having a bit more willpower just because then Sunder Mind would come back a bit quicker. But I'm okay. I'm cool with this. Oh. Oh no. Uh Temporal Fugue in Sunder Mind is an interesting one. How come Oh, I have one more turn. Okay. Well, I can do that right back to you, bud. Oh, except it won't let me now. Your concentration slips in the channel between you and... Oh, okay, so did I get myself out of that locked bat? No, okay. Can't, it can't go upstairs? Okay. Just gonna go ahead and back up a bit. I gotta get rid of these tortoises. They're a real problem. Luckily, my gun is, like, exactly their kryptonite. Because though they have a ridiculous amount of AV, our gun just goes straight through them. Looks like uh, a big portion of Chava just got sucked into a different dimension. Wow, they got a lot of health. They don't just have a lot of armor, they actually have a lot of health as well. Oh no, another one. Well, hopefully this um, gives us a bit more XP, which is what I wanted. Okay, uh, I want to make sure we're not standing right next to that. The visual effects are actually making things a little hard for us. Okay, we have a th we got a thousand XP from that. Two space-time vortices come into contact and both explode. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Oh, shoot. Get out of here, time vortex. Okay, uh, I don't want to be in that zone right now. 
I'm moving very slowly because um, I don't want to get like accidentally walk into a, a time vortex. Yeah. Okay, let's just back away. We sh we have plenty of movement speed. We don't we shouldn't get accidentally sucked in. That um I didn't realize that the vortex just like sucked an entire hexagon. Oh, uh, did I anger the gel? How did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, if we back up, we should be able to... Oh, no, they followed us. Okay, sorry, Zero Gel. Guess I'm fighting you. Zero Gels uh, should be fine. As long as you don't fight them at melee. God, there's another tortoise. This place sucks. Hey, there's an ape. Come to help me, hopefully. Oh, no. I think that ape... Ooh, just slammed him pretty good. Did I miss? How am I missing? How am I missing them right now? You... You reload... Are they like phased or something? They seem phased. They are phased. How I didn't realize that they could phase. Well, let's just give him a moment. We're fighting a tortoise as well. This is a, a lot more action packed than I intended. And of course, there's still that extra dimensional creature above us that I have to fight. Uh, what was that? There's some kind of weird effect just now. Oh, I think it was a dawning ape slamming something. Okay, let's just like put the oh we don't want to be in the path of that they might slam the tortoise right into us 50 12 want to make sure i'm not accidentally hitting the dawning ape i don't want to have to fight them oh god yo can you just die there we go. I think they died. No, I don't think they did actually. Where are they? Did I just not get the credit for that despite doing most of the damage to it? Jeez. Okay, and there's still this guy up here. I don't know where he went though. Another psychic presence? Where, oh, are they, they're a zero gel. Oh, that means that Sunder Mind isn't going to work, is it? Oh, it does. Um, genuinely worried I'm going to get completely melted here. Okay, that, that worked out well. Give me one second. Okay. Um... So I'm just going to wait and we'll see what happens. Oh, so they have both, huh? Very tough. Creature is native to the dimension known as the expanse, expanse of P. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how cold is it exactly? Hard to tell. Um, they've got some chops. I'm a little bit concerned, if I'm being honest. Let's just uh, see how this goes. 
And then they burrow into my mind. Except they got mental mirrored. Okay, yeah, they got mental mirrored, so now I can burrow into their mind. Wow, that was some really nice damage right there. Also nice damage. Also nice damage. Um, did they poison me? Covered in spores. Oh my god, they're mushroomed. Wounded. They should explode. Oh no! Dilute Entropic. Oh no. Oh no. Covered in one dram of dilute warm static. Is there any way to get rid of that? I guess we could do it the old fashioned way. Um, campfire. Uh, choose ingredients to cook with. Oh wait, no. Um, cook from a recipe. Whenever you drink a fresh water, uh, drink fresh water is 25% chance one of your negative status effects is removed at random. Let's, uh, I, I only vaguely know what that does. And I know I don't want it. Control F. Wa. G. K. Cool. We got it on the first try. All right. Cool. We're not. Uh, we're no longer. Is that on the stairs? Um. That really sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and collect it. Is that also warm static? Doesn't really say. Yeah, it kind of is. Carrying too much to move. Yeah, that makes sense. What can we drop? Actually, examine these. Um drop those to I need to I need to get rid of this warm static out of here cuz it's it's going to be a problem. Um, we can go ahead and disassemble our Eigen Rifles. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, alright, that was good enough. Wait, did it, like... Did the warm static end up on floors below it? Oh god, you're still here? These eh, extra-dimensional creatures are really a problem. Cool, uh, their head exploded. Nice. All right, we're gonna go down here. <clears throat> I think uh, I, I don't have any more tortoises here. We're gonna go ahead and start pouring this stuff out. Pour it nearby. Pour it nearby. Pour it nearby. This is this is so bad. I mean, this stuff is basically as bad as lava. In in some ways. So I I don't really want to deal. Oh, there's still a tortoise here. At least we have gained some XP here. Like, I I did gain quite a bit of experience. Oh. I don't really want to be near those. How come? I sort of got. I just saw the tortoise walk into one of their vortexes and not get sucked in. Wounded. Wounded. Badly wounded. At least these guys are good XP. Wow, that uh, vortex is really falling on me. Done. Another another thousand XP under my belt. <sighs> okay. This is this is a lot more stuff going on. 
than I really intended. Um, I guess we can avoid that pile of static. That is an option. Oh, what? Did we just walk through that? Collect liquid. I I'm going to have to do this. Stop walking through it. My God. <laughs> Our dude just like wants to walk through the worst stuff ever. T. I, I, you know, I, maybe I'm doing this all wrong, but uh, I just don't want to have to deal with this stuff. And I guess I am dealing with it. I'm dealing with it in the only way I know how. Just to collect it in vast quantities and then uh, isolate it. <laughs> Look how white it is. I, I've never seen it, anything like that. That's pretty fun. Okay, so entropic brackish water. Go ahead and collect that. Collect this. Collect that. Like this. Um, there's a bit more. Oop. And then go ahead and collect all this. And I'm gonna have to. Yeah, like we have a lot of one drams. Pour one dram into another container. Um, wouldn't it be terrible if I accidentally poured it into my floating water skin by accident that would be awful luckily it's not that kind of channel <laughs> where i make silly mistakes like that um it, i just make a whole bunch of other kinds of mistakes instead okay and then we collect the rest of that and now we should be good i don't think there's any more static at least not up there go ahead and pour nearby there Okay, I think we're good. I think we're finally good. I, oh, no. No, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. I meant to go to the staircase. All right. Okay, Um. so I'm gonna be talking to everyone here. This is the top of the tree. We have to talk to basically everyone. Um, there's, I think, some interesting merchants here, but also there's just, like, a lot of, uh, lore, a lot of stuff going on, but I want to talk to everyone. This is the first time I've been here, um, in at least myself, um, and, uh, there's a lot of things I want to find out. Chime is silent and still. Do you have anything to set, trade? You cannot carry things. Still crystal chime, okay. Um, we have Tamus. Who is this? Is that the warden? Chime rings. In your mind's eye, you see yourself touching a mirror. You tap the glass and it ripples like the surface of a placid lake. We can, um, we can share a dram with them. So them, they are hated by trees, but loved by the Chava, by Chava the Tree of Life. You'd think that they would be loved by trees, but I guess the Chava the Tree of Life is not necessarily a friend of trees. I'll share a dram with them. Only increased by 30, huh? That's weird. Usually... And we only gain 25 reputation with them? They would teach us Tomorrowful. What is Tomorrowful? <laughs> that is the strangest thing I've ever seen. What in the world is Tomorrowful? Well, now I really want to know what that is. Um, your name is pronounced as the pause between two words, friend. How do I know this? The entity chimes and you witness water lapping at the long edge of a pebble beach. Slowly, the tide brushes clean the surface of each rock. 
etching time's passage into millions of tiny cracked canvases. Somewhere, something dies. The moment stretches on into a steep asymptote. I don't know that word. Straight up. The peaks and valleys of possible outcomes speeding by and in an imaginary blur. You imagine the sound of a metal, tiny metal thread brushing across the bottom of a dusty valley amplified a thousand times. Well, um, I can't say I understand any of that. Do you have anything to trade? Cannot carry things. I mean, that makes sense. Let's talk to Tamoz. Tamoz chimes a broad and booming tone. You, purpose-driven mad, mad hand. You've come here, right? Then you must know power is our... Uh, the domain of being is one of power, wouldn't you say? Would you, would you please agree with that? <clears throat> um, they are loved by Chav of the Tree of Life, but disliked by the Issachari tribe. I believe my original tribe, but I will share a dram with you. And only gain 30 in reputation with Chava the Tree of Life. Sorry, Issachari. Have some secrets. Only one secret, apparently. I have no other secrets to bear. Um... Well, you beasts, you moon king, you are our roars, are bestial. Would you say so? I I am Nimoshram. Who are you? Tamaz, who becomes, who is too firm, even in then. Too firm? The two Sephirots, then and else. I cannot be else. I cannot, of course. But then it does not seem so. Your, their chimes ring at the right frequencies. Others, but not so, mine. The two Sephirots, then and else. I cannot be else. I cannot, of course. But then, it does not seem so. Okay. This is all nonsense. You you don't understand. You it's you. It's it is as said, strange is the path to wisdom. Perhaps you will perhaps it is you who must figure it out. Figure it all out. You sound very unsure of yourself. Tamas makes a hollow peep. Be uncertain, friend. You have my permission. I will give you a moment. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, we only have, um, Miriam, Miriam. Oh, a traveler. I see you then live and drink. Um, you have reputation be gained. Hated by the Hindran of Bela. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hindran of Bela, but I am, I am interested in becoming good friends with these. I want to know what tomorrow full does. I have a secret to share and only the one secret I am Nimum Shram uh, who are you I am Miriam friend your chime is cracked and ribboned on inside with starless clouds why it's the Kriya traveler I am in mourning and I chime in low tones I am sorry Miriam did you lose someone close to you I swim in cool and dark waters traveler for me it is Shiva the lament of a thousand, uh, seven thousand years. I mourn the passing of all life and all the necess necessity of life or a de of death life must bring. Let me try that again. I mourn the passing of all life and all the necessity of death life must bring. For you, traveler, to come here, how many had to die? I mourn them. Well, tortoises and a couple extra dimensionals but uh yeah i take your point are you the rarest one who walks below the bright arches and claims no such cost even then what losses did you suffer to come traveler what selves of yours had to shed uh, had you to shed those are else to us and i mourn them as well 
Are you talking about my other playthroughs? <laughs> Continue listening. But to someone close, Tao, bright Tao, she is gone. Interesting. Silent and still. Uh, anything to do here? Is there anyone to talk to? We have Santa Lolotz. Is that a plant? Oh, wow, an animal. Congratulations for not dying. Want to buy something? I am Nimoshram. Who are you? I am Santa Lotz. Santa Lolotz. Santa Lolotz. Santa, Santa Lalat. So Y'all have very difficult to pronounce names for me specifically of the Consortium of Fida. Some call me Sant, I think, in fantasy or memory. You don't remember? It's fine. I forget nothing important. Uh, or I don't remember. So no sense worrying, right? Perhaps being Chava's parasite is affecting your mind. Parasite. So negative. It's like a economic symbiosis. Java sustains me, and we are... I am not them. We are in a beneficial arrangement, you know? Yes? You don't seem sure of any of this. Well, nothing is like Chava. Nothing at all. I once thought my Hostorium carried only life stuff. Now I am unsure. Am I of too firm now? It's fine. Let's change subjects. Are you part of this tree? No. Well... No, no, I don't think so. We're just sharing nutrients. So you're a parasite. Uh, mm. I'd like to ask you about something else. Are you part of this tree? You don't seem sure. Well, nothing is like Chava. Okay. Why are you selling goods in such a remote and dangerous place? It is safe here. Business is slow, but I've gotten attached. Huh. Don't call me an animal. Buy something, and I will call you customer, if I remember to. Are you having some memory trouble? It's fine. I forget nothing important. Okay. Um, yeah, let's trade. Whoa, Zeta Chrome pumps, huh? First thing they have, or first thing I see that they have is Zeta Chrome, and they also have a metamorphic core. So I have to assume that this is a very high tier, uh trader potentially the highest tier can i say that with confidence no i can't but hey here we are um okay well um we'll leave them for now the, te the temptation to clone them is very high i will say tikva hello tikva uh, you are as beautiful as imagined. You ring with a shining purpose. This chime is odd to bask in your presence. I am Nimashram. Who are you? It is called Tikva, low and humble. The chime rests in a web of strong love, a little piece of something greater and so much more beautiful, as are you, but a gestalt of your, unto yourself. A gestalt. A world to be orbited. Your chime shines with such painful light. It channels the breathtaking things seen and heard and known. Bathe your senses in it until they grow accustomed. You will see nothing else. Anything else? Oh, a dram to be shared for sure. Hated by the Hisakari tribe. Looks like I am abandoning all ties to my previous life in order to bask in this new one. We are very close to having uh, enough for tomorrow full. If I had known how difficult it was to obtain a uh, reputation for Chava, I, I might have uh, prioritized it somewhat. But hey, we have enough now to um, gain tomorrow full. I'm, I'm, I'm endlessly curious by that. And we have Tzedek. Tzedek? Entity, you are given persistent will and agency, twice hewn architecture of body and strong fiber that pulls 
You bolt upright and damp haired unto fullness, your grasp abrading the threads of existence. Your responsibility remains whether acknowledged or not. Have strength, the time is now. It seems to me that they're describing the process of awakening in that cloning vat um, after you've defeated the Tomb of Eaters. Sorry? Hear me. It is more important than ever to know that you are a driver. Um, reforged and honed, you tool yourself to apply selective atrocity. It cannot be helped. You shape this. Your path bloody and blooming. You start in sleep and shake the ground. All must, but you most of all. The weight may have been negligent once, but it is terribly heavy now. Do you accept responsibility? This also kind of feels like the describing the process of cr um, making the golem. You are the driver, reforged and honed. Uh, you tool yourself, cannot be helped. You shape it. You shape your path, but also a golem. I do accept responsibility. Yes, you understand destroying. You know the weight. We are past time of querulous inquisition of confessions on lined parchment. But was the whole of this in your weight? It no longer matters. Scale the firmament. Smite or soothe what rouses there. Um, and then, yeah, okay, so I, I think I understand what they're saying. And then this is... This is saying your path lies in the spire or the spindle and you are creating a golem to do so and your responsibility is a, is a large one seems to me i don't know maybe i'm reading into it is something the matter chimes buzzing with agitation who are you this called tizedek or zedek I might just I might just commit to Zedek. I like that more. Compass, judgment, motivation. Once lover of Tikva, apart now after Geyer dream. You were another chime's lover. Tikva, once lover, now foul. Uh, foil, perhaps lover again. Its light invites and overwhelms. A hope blind and blinding. Cruel frustration at storm time. When its eyes are needed, they turn away. I will not be calmed. I will not be calmed. How can chimes in, in a tree be lovers? You are terribly small. Your love small, confined. I cannot, will, not uplift your little concept. Do it yourself. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, you'll be together again? As seasons cycle, so Chava cycles. We are not as you. Our love is not as you. But it is come early, this winter. Geyer Dream shakes us. This is insufficient, and I cannot bridge understanding. Consider questions of greater utility. Okay. I was kind of hoping that maybe this is who I had to talk to in order to um, potentially uh, gain power source for the golem. They seemed sure of themselves. I've grown so accustomed to this easy clairvoyance that I just want to use it all the time. Let's talk to dear uh, Divrak. We share the bright and now traveler Nimrashram. In my travels, I encountered a people. Oh, this is the mayor, the slint seeking a new home. And again, I must be calmed, but the startling, the startling gives way to a curiosity. Speak of the glow folk be limbed and free you would have them join us like our sand if you would have them yes sand is yeah okay interesting i startle and the roiling is felt before the calm i cannot find a consensus for the housing of these beings nimashram i'm sorry i understand what is this place this keter roams about above my trunk at ein raj this keter roams above my trunk Huh. Traveler Nimashram, and across the stair I dream. You found me, this Keter, where I chime in dozens. Who are you? Wait, the entity I spoke with at Ayn Raj mentioned a chiming rock. Ah, I am in need. And so I turned my chimes trunkward to tune. 
You struck the chime and now you are here. Are you a water hand and free? What do you need? My chimeling Tao leaves Chava, leaves me. It is her choice. Her transit psych manifests at the bottom of Taproot, where we cannot consciously go. To finish the ritual of Elseling, to let Tao become something else, or become else. I need a traveler such as you, Nimashram. What must I do? Take Tao's chime, silent and still. Carry it to the bottom of Taproot, deep under my trunk, where she will make the chime her transit body, and walk away forever. Finish the ritual of Elsing. At the bottom of Taproot, you, Tao manifests. She tells us, too, that another waits for her there. I will do as you ask. You have received a crystal key. You have received a new quest, if then else. Thank you, Traveler Nimishram. So who are you? A sophist of the self spilled ink and called me long ago the tree of life. To me, I am the many selves pinched up my taproot from the permeating so a soft. I am Chava and I am Divrak. Many selves? What does this mean? As Chava, I am many. A Divrak, I am one. I am one and many. One selves have called me tree city, the sentient place. You may think of the selves this way, sprouted in Keter from Too Firm. Too Firm? Deep under earth and permeating our roots is soft, our feeling substance. Ground pressure pushes it up the taproot to our trunk, where it condenses into Too Firm, the biformal phase that contains the two Sephirots, or Sephirots, then and else. Huh. Continue listening. This is the genesis of my distinct self, an awareness that contains both then, what I will become, and else, what I will not. Too firm flows up my topwood to the Keter, where then manifests as an entity, and I chime. I speak and hear the world. Then... What I will become, and else what I will not. Interesting. Too firm flows up my sapwood. Explain once more what I must do with Tao's chime. Tao's chime, silent and still, okay. I come in the name of need. Barathrum asks the strength of your psyche to power our, stair, our, our star climb. I start at this, but Tikva settles me. I remember now, from a cub, I've known Barathrum to be weak in telling, but bold in asking. A star climb. You mean an ascent to the long, chiming rock. Barathrum intends to ascend the spindle to discover the source of the signal. Yes, he needs a power source for the climber, one shielded from electromagnetic disturbance. Oh, this. Was this felt in Gaia Dream? You're coming to Keter? I ask, do not answer. What is Gyre Dream? A future shock. My chimeling. Space. His vision gifted. A lichen who clings to shore rock on the Straits of Tomorrow. This just, just a short time ago, a sea, sea wave crested and broke beneath her, and she saw in its recession all the bright and violent channels path. We all felt it. A recoming, and the gyre in final tension. I felt. It was too much for my chimeling Tao. She gasped for air, and her chime stilled. She leaves us now, to become else. It is her choice. I am sorry, but will you help Baratham do as he asks? I will power his star, star climb if you take Tao's chime to taproot for her to walk away. If you finish the ritual of Elsing, I see. Um, what kind of reputation do you have? Admired by Fungi, disliked by Mapango. We can we can share a dram. Uh, they dislike. What? Yeah. 
It's weird. The reputation with Chava is so minute. <laughs> okay, we only have like one more per uh, chime to talk to. Who thumps my crystal arms and kicks off me at windfall? I feel you here, friend. I am Nimishram. Who are you? The naming act is uh, imponderable. So Tao called me uh, thick salt. One brick word in a towerful poem whose uh, every shape I forget, but whose flushing of soft and afterfeel I am in alley, all, all way. You feel me. All presence is gesture, and all gesture is felt. Bat the air with your well, wild limbs. Press on the hard flats of my crystal arms. I feel it. You must feel it too, or are you touch lost? When Dervak is touch lost, uh, sorry, when Divrak speaks the millionth word and forgets all speech is gesture, a chord flicks somewhere. Then I feel the bending rush of grass on my crystal fingers. And Divrak is touch kept again. Did you experience the Geyer dream? You thump my crystal arms. You kick soft me at windfall. Our felt dream did not end. I feel you here now. Before, when soft flushed so suddenly, I felt the stones of war smash against my western roots and the kick soft of air unthicken into stillness in the quiet black. I felt the so hot burning of star exhaust and thrum of roaring vessel. Then too much was felt. Thread count too high for my edge sense. I am to carry Tao's chime to Taproot so she can leave Chava. I stir now, windswept. Safe sight at your passage, Nimashram. Thump my crystal arms, hard lift, and bar uh, back bear the chime of bright Tao. The down root will tickle, but I am blessed in alley, uh, in all way. Um, what is your rep? Disliked by the hindrance of- Wow, this is, it seems like Chava and Bela have a weird feud. Thick salt apparently sowed their fields with salt. We'll share a dram. Oh, share the favorite dish of the ent entities of Chava, Crystal Delight. Um, I wouldn't mind knowing what that does. I don't know where I would find that. Is that down here? There's nothing down here. So the only thing left to do is to check out what Tomorrow Full does. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I think I learned that at space. Tell me of Geyer Dream. Your entire self buzzes at the sound of space's chime. A shock from the center and radiating outward. Sensation bubbles up to the surface. A tightening of the self. It is as if cresting a great hill atop a cathedral or an oncoming witchwood overdose. The void yawns under you. Something terrible is born. I don't understand. What could it mean? You are a little sap fly, resting in the crook of a, sh a swarm shade tree. The boughs stretch in great barkish deserts uh, before exploding into a tangle of branches. Your brethren buzz in an agitated cloud, feeling fear of excitement or hunger. Something buzzes beyond the leafy reaches, reaches of your sight, all-consuming but unclear. I will think on this. I, I wish to speak of other things. I am to carry Tao's chime taproots root so she can leave Chava. The, just as you activate an artifact listening device that ceased to exist centuries ago, you hear the end of an emotional song. The space between relief and sorrow throbs with uncomfortable tension. You ache with it. Um, okay, so teach me to tomorrow full. Chava, the tree of life is now indifferent to you. Teaches you tomorrow full. Thank you. Um, what does that do? Mm. 
Non-linearity. You precognit precognitive visions last twice as long. Well, that would have been really cool if I had precognition. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up with it before the end of this. I guess I could have potentially guessed that that was, you know, what that did, but, you know. So one thing we could do, um, I don't expect this to be here by the time I'm done at Ein Raj, but all the same, we could pr try and program a uh, programmable recoiler and see if we can't get it all done as quickly as we can. But I will do that on the next episode. It's been a very long episode. It didn't intend for that to be the case, but there was a lot to do. And apparently there was a lot of things to kill. Um, imprint is here. And we will recoil to Einraj. So um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.